And welcome back with us now is Micah McComb and Judy Dasovich with Horses of Hope, ladies. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And tell us who your friend is here. <laughs> this is Mo. Mo. She's one of our favorite friends to come to town. Oh. Yes. Mighty, no. uh, yep. Mighty well, Mo. Which is Mighty the, Mo. the name of your organization, <laughs> Horses of Hope. Yep. I mean, that's what she is for. And you yep. do therapy, I know, for mental health, but also physical disabilities. Yes, tell me just a little bit about that. Yeah, um, we are a therapeutic and educational program providing services to any individuals looking for more of a comprehensive wellness holistic approach. So uh -huh. it can be mental health, but it also can be the physical disabilities as well. Yeah, now I read somewhere that you mentioned that horses lend their nervous system to us. What exactly does that mean? Um, that means, well, one thing that we've just, um, that's just come out is the horse's heartbeat um, can go six feet out um, its body. And so what that does like is the electric? That, yeah, pulse? the beat of okay. the heart. Uh -huh. um, and so then our nervous system begins to go into mm. the same rhythm as theirs. <gasps> And so um, with them being a herd animal and um, they're, so then that system is just able to help regulate our system as well. Wow, that Very is Very interesting, yeah. So let's take Mo for example. So if there's people that are using your services, what are, what do you, how are you guys able to help like Mo help them with what they need? Yeah, so you know, we would just do, just like what's happening right here with Judy. Yeah. Judy mm -hmm. is just regulating with Mo right there, helping her know that it's safe in this place. Mm -hmm. And so their nervous systems are working together mm -hmm. and they are regulating together so we can work on um, self-esteem we can work on um, all kinds of different life skills mm -hmm. so it kind of just depends that's why we've changed it to kind of more of a holistic comprehensive mm -hmm. approach because we want to meet individuals where they're mm -hmm. at yeah. and not just like say well this is what you're coming for that's, so this is incredible and the reason why you're actually here today is because you have a festival of hope coming up this yep. weekend yeah so we want to hear all about that yeah so I'm gonna let Judy talk to us about the bands but we are having the festival mm -hmm. Of Hope, which is a um, bluegrass festival for families and kids that are going to come and uh, be a part. But Judy knows all about the bands, and so we're going to let her talk yeah. about that. We've got four yeah. bands, right? right here. Three bands. Three, three bands. bands. Sorry, yes, yes, so yes. we've got uh, three terrific uh, bluegrass bands uh -huh. that are from the southwest Missouri Ozarks region. Okay. The first at four o'clock is Lost Creek. Mm -hmm. They're a family band. Mm -hmm. And they're from Bruner, Missouri. They play at festivals and churches and benefits, and they are benefiting us uh, on Saturday by donating their musical talents to Wonderful. help our fundraiser. Our second yeah. band uh, is Casey and the Attaboys. Uh, Casey Freeland is the granddaughter of uh, John and Betty Wynn, who are well known to bluegrass fans in the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. And Casey has played with several national, prominent national uh, bluegrass bands. Uh, she still plays with her grandmother and her uncles in the family band, The South Wind, but now she's got her own band, Casey and the Atta Boys. Uh, there's actually an Atta girl. She's the new mandolin player, the newest, <laughs> newest band member. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, they, they are a ton of fun, all very terrific musicians. Yeah. They tour regionally, uh, and they just won the band contest for... Um, uh, the Hillberry Harvest Moon Festival mm -hmm. in Eureka Springs. Okay. Very cool. And now, what else do yeah. people need to know about the event outside of the bands? Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, our, our headliner is the Chapmans. So okay. I don't okay. want to. I need. Don't I need to say that. something about that. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are. Uh, they played at the highest level of bluegrass nationally and internationally. They've okay. been playing uh, in bands since uh, before they could shave uh, over 30 <laughs> years in their family band. Uh, and now uh, they're too busy to tour because they own the acoustic shop and serve people uh, in person um, and um, online all over the world, okay. uh, uh, both musicians. What is, yeah. what is the website to get tickets? Um, I think we are going to be able to pull that up really quick, possibly. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there'll be face painting yeah. and then there'll be pumpkin painting, Monet painting with the um, tail of the horses mm -hmm. and petting zoos. And in barbecue and things, okay. but yeah, right there on the website will be um, the best place for you to get tickets. Okay, okay. perfect. Sounds like a great event, ladies. Yes, thank you for being you. here. Thank thanks for all the work you're doing, it's and thanks for bringing Mo into yeah. the studio. Yeah. This was amazing. It's be really, really fun. <laughs>